Yo, yo, what's going on people? I want this video to be fun. The last couple of days has been a debate back and forth with AI art, all that type of shit. I want to do something different today. I want to have fun. I've been looking at this trailer for a long time. I haven't watched it. I see it's 14 minutes long, but um, I'm interested in Dead, like Dead Island 2 for two reasons. And I know I'm gonna sound like a fucking nut when I say this, but the gore system fascinates me. So I'm literally just, <laughs> I just want to see how good the gore system is in this game. I know, I know it's crazy. I know I sound nuts. I don't care. I'm gonna buy it. That's why I play zombie games so I can dismember. But and from the very first time I saw it, it had the most accurate gore system I've ever seen in any other zombie game, period. So I'm excited for this. Let's get into this. I gotta make sure this is super HD. Hold up a second. I gotta see that gore system in full effect. Ooh, I'm excited. What you're about to see is a short work in progress preview of Dead Island uh, 2 gameplay. My computer's a potato. Fine, 14p, Jesus Christ. Just a glimpse of the wider epic pulp adventure spanning the undead streets of LA. Let's go. Our journey Ooh, starts in Bel Air. It's so just colorful. a few hours after the introduction of the game. Look at this. Infected, it looks so but somehow immune to the zombie virus. Our immediate goal is to reach the authorities at the Halperin Hotel, an evac center south of here okay. in Beverly Hills. Evac center this Everything way. happens in Beverly Hills. Halperin Hotel. Get my suite ready. Between our roster zombies. of six slayers, we've selected <laughs> Danny. <laughs> a foul mouthed brawler from Ireland with a twisted sense of humor. Hmm. She's a tenacious, yet balanced character. Well suited to an agile style of combat. I don't I don't like the health bar though. I'll probably take that off if you can. Staying mobile and waiting for your moment to strike will be key to survival of this playstyle. Okay. Ugh. Hitting stuff solves everything. Each of our slayers have different personalities, stats, and starting abilities. Okay, you know but what? Thanks to our flex I think this has to be a 21st century thing when it comes to gaming. Every single game has to do the Fortnite, Apex Legends, you know, heroes route when it comes to video game characters. Even Battlefield 23, I recently started playing that. I don't know why they're going down this pathway to where they always got to do the, you know, Super charismatic characters. You have a silent character playing this game. I really don't want to hear them talk. I just want to kill zombies. I'm just being honest. That's just me. And get rid of the health bars. First, I want to. I want to see the gore and all this glory. And the point of a gore system and a dismemberment system is to show me what damage I'm doing without the artificial health bar. So I will turn that bitch off. Me personally. You can personalize their fighting style in any way you see fit. <laughs> Let's pause a second. Okay. Thanks to our revolutionary dismemberment technology Ooh. called flesh. I love it. Crushing bones, slicing muscles, and melting zombies Ugh. will always look oh. bloody and feel spectacular. Beautiful. Look at this that. Realistic locational damage is not only for show, but will allow players to strategically target the individual weaknesses of different deadly foes. So why do you need the health bars? You don't need the health bars if you got that system. <laughs> Despite the outbreak, our world is alive and kicking with oddball survivors and crazy side quests to complete. Okay, that's like the second time. Now, see, I'm a pauser because I am a um, I am who I am. I'm an artist. I'm a pauser. Okay, when you come to this channel, I'm a pause because I like to discuss what's going on. I'm not just gonna sit here like a deaf mute and just look at it and shit. I like to converse. So th that's the second time I've seen. Back it up. Second time I've seen a zombie by a trash can. I wonder what that is. That's not on. That's not by accident. That's not by accident. I know how artists think. So I wonder what that is because this is the second time he passed a zombie by a trash can. It's like he didn't want to kill him. So I want to I want to know why. Live and kicking with oddball survivors and crazy side quests to complete. Are you still up there? Hey, can you hear me? Hello? Don't run away. We need to help each other. Let's ignore this request for now and continue towards the Halperin Hotel. That sounds like I that left for dead map. shit. <laughs> All these streets look the same. The road to Beverly Hills is, this is the map? just beyond that mansion. Not one to pass up a shortcut. Runners? Seems like we have enough firepower, but we should be careful nonetheless. Of course. Hmm. 
Damn, she just died. <laughs> Sometimes it's best to choose when and God. when not to engage. So let's try to find some shelter. Yeah, just go, 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 go. If you feel the urge to fight, though, our world is filled with tons of exciting weapons, each with their own That's unique and brutal fighting style. That was a scary motherfucker, that skinny dude. I'm gonna be having fun with this. For some satisfying dismemberment, bladed weapons are always king. Of course. Love it. And thanks to our flesh system, cutting through zombies with your katana feels as smooth as slicing butter. Love it. That was genius. I like that. Cut the head. Look how good the faces look. The eye came out. Wow. I wonder how they did that procedural some attack. Tactical crowd control. Yeah, she got Look a belly on her. Then strong, heavy tools like a sledgehammer. Mmm. Oh, this game is gonna be satisfying as hell. I'll just go around the city just beating beating zombies up. Come a sick fuck. What weapons Look like at this. this are perfect for crushing bones and clearing a path. Oof. Hit him on the ground. See, that's how crazy I am, too. I would test the gore system just by hitting on the ground. Alongside I do this in every game. copious amount of melee weapons, guns offer a powerful addition to your arsenal. Pause it. Capable of slaying long-range targets and triggering deadly traps and explosions. Cause a lot of noise, too. Just be careful not to waste too many bullets while you're having fun. So it's mainly okay. melee weapons. That's why we go. Track to get to this hotel of theirs. Yes. There you go. Smells like me ma's boiled stew. We found the evac checkpoint. The road to Beverly Hills is just up ahead. Things are about to get a lot rougher. That's a red house. So we should upgrade our weapons and equip ourselves for the challenges ahead. With workbenches scattered all over Los Angeles, players can retrofit their tools with DIY mods and perks, okay. creating the most obnoxiously crazy weapons. Yeah, From flaming yeah. katanas to electrified daggers That's to exploding light. hammers, the possibilities are endless. And the outcome, claws. always bloody. Gotta be bloody, man. It's a zombie game. Shit. Like most of the districts in LA. There are multiple pathways we can take to reach our destination. Okay. With challenges to unlock, characters to meet, and stashes to uncover, venturing off the beaten path has its benefits. Okay, so so they said beaten path. So for me, that means that it's not really an open world. It's a it's a because they wouldn't use beaten path or there's multiple pathways to your objective. If it's a freely open world, it's probably a micro mini open world. I'm thinking. Looks like someone's having a party. Let's yeah, I'm fine with that. Hello. Uh, sorry, zombie. Party's over. Not a zombie. Just a pizza. Hey, do you have pizza? Of course I do. Now let us in. Uh, yeah. Well, if I open this door, a whole load of zombies might rush in, and I'm pretty sure that's a, a bad thing. Then why do you left the gate wide open? Oh, yeah. Well, we're having this big party, right? And some of the guys, not, not me, were riding on the gate and, and, and it broke. And there's a whole bunch of spares in the garage, but it's like full of riffraff. This guy's Hi. Jeff Bridges. <laughs> the the Bit Lebowski oh, written killer. all over. I'll hit the garage button. You bounce the party crashers and fix things up. And then, dude, Mikasa is, is uh, you Mikasa? your Mikasa. Hey Roxy, we got company. Find your jeans. Why is he wearing that? <laughs> We've agreed to fix the rock stars game. Holy Time shit! To go to work. Hell yeah! Fighting music. I can jam to this. <laughs> With dozens of deadly zombie types, each undead archetype you encounter presents a unique challenge okay. with different strengths and weaknesses to overcome. Okay, okay, okay. This is the fun, boys, but I should close that gate now. Now, see, the only thing I'm not going to like 
And I probably might tune it out because I did it with Aloy. I don't I don't mind Aloy. I like Aloy as a character, but why does every character has to be a personality? They don't have to be just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Like am I being a little bit too, you know, a ho ish? But it's like I I don't I don't care about your quirkiness. I don't care about your personality oozing through the screen, especially during the zombie game. You either go the way that Dying Light did or the silent protagonist that kills zombies and you shut the fuck up. It's not Sunset, Sunset Overdrive. That's if they're trying to go that route. I don't know. I don't know why every character got to have a personality. It's like the Marvel complex. The circuit maker. This'll work. Oh, fuck. God damn, I'm gonna have fun with this gore system. I'm a sick ass fuck. <laughs> Jesus! To better face this zombie horde, we expanded the equipment at the player's disposal. Okay. Curveballs are a brand new, exciting addition, offering both lethal and tactical advantages. There you go. Take meat bait, for example. A nasty sack of blood and guts that can draw zombies away from you. Disgusting. Perfect for some gruesome distraction. Yeah, I will turn the health bars off. I'm just being honest. I want to see the damage being done on the body. I don't just want to just look at the, um, you know, at, at the health bar. I think that actually takes away from the gore system. Matter of fact, I think it contradicts it. Hey, are we getting the pizza or we fight the zombies in the yard? Feeding pizza to the zombies. Oh, right. You say pizza? Right. No pizza. Sorry, man. Big evacuation party, you know. Motherfuckers are drunk and high as shit. We gotta get to the evac. Roxy? Roxy, hey. We should get back on track to the evac center. From the iconic Hollywood Hills and Venice Beach this does to the A-lister mansions in Santa Monica and Bel Air neighborhoods, Santa Monica. our story takes players on an epic roller coaster ride through LA's most iconic, vibrant landmarks. Okay. The Halperin Hotel is just down the valley. So it is open occupied world. by the now undead military and ravaged by massive earthquakes and wildfires. The hotel is now a powder keg. Lucky for us, though, we've introduced a powerful set of skill cards that enhance Slayer abilities okay. to help level the playing field. What's more, players can swap and combine them, tailoring their playstyle to suit any scenario. This game got a little bit of everything. It, it got a little bit of, um... You can check out any time you like. Left for Blood, too. Well, what's up, the zombie game that came out, too? You guys know what I'm talking about, the new one that's like Left 4 Dead. Quiet, isn't it? They got the card system in that game too. You just stood there and got hit. I was thinking there was a parry system. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Might as well think there was a parry system or something like that. We've decided to adjust yeah, she was just standing there. to better resist close quarter attacks. And there we go. Slow, but powerful damage. That uppercut, man, is just brutal. God. What's Fucking that? kitty. There we go. Uppercut. It just knocked off the jaw. I saw it come out. Jesus. I'm pretty sure your weapons can break too, though. Headshot. Skin melting off of him. In Dead Island 2, your environment is also another resource to exploit in your quest for survival. Ugh. So juicy. From car batteries to gas canisters and acid spills, chaining elemental effects like electricity, fire, and caustic acid is just another way to wreak havoc on the dead. Gotcha. While locked at this stage in the game, by tapping into your corrupted DNA, I thought that was 21 Savage at first. <laughs> deadly mutations and explosive abilities that mimic the powers of the undead. 
So you're able to mimic We them. call this Fury Mode. Okay. Like Doom? With the military all but gone, we need to find another way to contact the authorities. While scavenging for resources, we'll have to face new and unexpected zombie encounters. Jesus Christ! I love this. Okay. And I guess the grenade's gonna blow up, yep. That's kind of interesting. Oh, I love this system, sure man. The gore system is crazy. In Dead Island 2, you'll face more than simple walkers. These Burning running? And challenging mutations pose unique threats. Okay. Beyond Boss. the dozens of grotesque variants in LA, Apex are hyper mutated zombies that pose terrifying challenges with unique powers and behaviors. Wow. You always gotta have a bloater and a screamer in every single zombie game. standard zombies come in all sorts of unexpected variants. You always gotta have a bloater. With the fire extinguished, our hotel excursion ends with Danny discovering a functioning military radio. Breaker, Breaker, can anyone hear me? I hear you. You know what's funny? I wonder how many types of zombies um you could come up with for these zombie games because I play all of them because I love zombie games though, but because I love all of them, I actually know the repeated types that have to. It's like a staple when you make a zombie game. There has to be certain types that actually appear. You have to have a bloater that can draw in a horde and stuff like that. You you know that obscure your vision and they blow up and they get shit on you. So now everybody's attracted to you. That has to be in a zombie game. And then you have to have a snitch, which is basically going to be like a screamer to where they scream and alert the horde. And you have to get to them first before, you know, like to stop it from happening. You always got to have those two. And then you got to have a tank. It's a staple in zombie games. I just find that funny how, you know, like, it's like an unspoken rule. Dr. Reed, unaware that another sinister and quite unique encounter is waiting in the dark. Doctor, I need to put me on hold for just a moment. Hey, wait, I need you. You uh -oh. have to get here. Hello? What the fuck? Oh. Is that a preview has come to an end. But with so much more to show you in the coming months, we hope you enjoyed this small snippet of Dead Island 2. I enjoyed it. See you in L.A., Slayers. Did he say L.A.? Well, there you have it. I'm definitely going to get this game. This game has been interesting me for a while. There's just a couple things that, um, you know, I've seen that's just a little nitpicks. But it's never a deal breaker for me. I'm definitely getting this game when it comes out. So, yeah. I just want to do this quick little video. Look at this with you guys, because I've been eyeballing this gameplay for about maybe five or six days, and I haven't even sat down and watched it myself. So I'm kind of glad I got that out of the way. I'm excited about it. This video wasn't going to change me not buying the game. Anyway, I'm going to buy the game, period. So let me know how you think about this, and are you intrigued by the gore system like how I am? Because I'm an artist. I'm intrigued by that type of shit. I love it. And I'm going to be fucking with it just to see what I can do. <laughs> I'm a sick-ass person. I need help. All right, guys. I'm out of here. Peace out. Oh,